Hi, I'm Hedvig and I just got this brand new creative 1.5 sewing and embroidery machine and it's just so amazing. I never knew that embroidery could be so much fun. Look at this beautiful clutch, it's so easy to make and now I'm going to show you how to do it. First you need a stable woven fabric, nothing too heavy and definitely not stretchy. Denim and twill fabrics are good options. You can download the detailed instructions as well as the patterns from fuff.com. The PC software that came with my machine makes it easy to create embroidery combinations. There are 100 designs included with the Creative 1.5 embroidery machine. I select the designs and arrange them on screen. I can even try different color combinations on screen and find my favorite look. The smart color sort function will combine like colors and eliminate some thread changes. If you want to create a label, like this one here, you can easily do so in the software. Use any of the 10 fonts included in the embroidery intro software or use the quick font feature. This allows you to create embroidery fonts from any of the true type fonts built in on your computer. So many creative options. Save the designs to the USB embroidery stick for easy transfer to your embroidery machine. Next, I print templates for my embroideries that I'll use for placing my designs on my fabric. The large hoop that comes with my machine allows me to make big embroideries. To cover this entire area I will need to create multiple combinations. I like to cut my fabric slightly larger than the pattern pieces. This makes hooping much easier and allows room to reposition the final layout. Adding fusible batting will give more structure to my clutch. Mark the center point of the embroideries on your fabric with a temporary fabric marker. This is to ensure that my embroideries will be placed where I want them. Now it's time to hoop the fabric for the first embroidery. Always use a stabilizer. It prevents the fabric from puckering during the embroidery process. Now I load the first design from the USB embroidery stick. Thread the machine with color number one. The machine stops when color 1 is complete and I change thread to the next color. So, a message tells me when the embroidery is complete. Rehoop the fabric for the next embroidery. Match the center markings on the fabric with the notches on the inner hoop. Now it's time to load the next embroidery combination and start to embroider again. Embroidery goes quite quickly thanks to its fast embroidery speed. Now I have both sides of the clutch embroidered. Embroider your label before moving on to sewing. Before constructing the clutch, I want to add an extra dimension. This yarn will accent the design nicely. 
it can be applied easily with this couching and braiding foot I got at a fuff dealer. It's really great for any sewing project. Select the zigzag stitch and adjust the stitch to the thickness of the yarn. Then I just follow the marked lines. When the embellishment is complete, cut the fabric according to the instructions. So, now I need to arrange the two fabric pieces and the zipper in the correct place. Make sure the IDT system is engaged as you are sewing the zipper. The IDT system feeds the fabric from both the top and the bottom at the same time. It is really needed here with all my different layers of fabric. Attach the label with the reinforced straight stitch. The needle up down feature makes it easy to turn corners. I also added a lining to my clutch. You can read the instructions for full details on how you can do that. Voila! And here's my unique clutch. I really hope you got inspired to make your own.